everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany if you're new here and in today's video I'm going to be talking all about homeschooling. So I started homeschooling my daughter this past fall as she started kindergarten and it's been kind of a bit of an adjustment as I've learned a lot and I have been um, we've been doing it now for a few months and I thought it would be the right time to kind of do a bit of a video on homeschooling and how we do it and how I do it with other kids and why we started to do it and just answering a lot of questions that I've been getting about it in the last little while. So I thought that I would just answer some of those questions today and hopefully it gives you a little bit of clarity if you are thinking about starting homeschooling or you just want to know more. So anyways, I got a bunch of questions to go through and yeah, let's get started. Just a disclaimer on this video, if you don't homeschool your kids, that's totally fine. That is your decision as a family, as a parent, and there's no shame if you um, put your kids in public school or private school or whatever you do. Um, this is just based on my experience and what we are deciding to do as a family. So one thing that I really wanted to make sure that I had when I started homeschooling was my why and why that we wanted to homeschool our kids. It's good for you to have like a good solid reason or reasons to be doing this for yourself because you will get questions and you will get people answer, asking you why the switch. Some of the whys that we had for homeschooling was um, one, the schedule. Um, we actually put Brielle in to public school for about a month in September. Um, it was a gradual entry, so she wasn't going for full days, but we found that the schedule to public school um, was just super limiting and it was actually a lot for her. So we found that you know, she was um, so tired at the end of the day. Um, and even though she was enjoying her time there, um, it was just a lot for her. And it also was a lot for me as I have two younger um, kids. I have a three-year-old and a nine-month-old. And at the time he was about four months. So um, basically having to get up to go to pick up twice um, pick up or drop off twice a day. Um, it was a lot and where the school is situated there wasn't a lot of parking and so I would take have to take the boys out of the car and um, it just it felt like it was a lot. I had to wake up the boys from naps sometimes and it just really wasn't working well um, and the schedule was just not very flexible and that's something that was very limiting. That's how it felt anyway for us. Hi guys, so editing Bethany here. I just wanted to add something to this section of the video and to add to one of our whys um, that I didn't mention earlier. But what I wanted to add was this. Um, we realized that the schedule was very limiting. Also within the schedule of it, but with our time that we were able to spend with Brielle, um, we realized that we were missing out, a, out on a big chunk of her life by us sending her to school every single day. And to be honest with you, we just really wanted to enjoy her and for us to spend our days with her. And um, I know I don't get a lot of alone time these days, but to be honest, I am truly loving having Brielle home with me. And I know my husband feels the same and my husband works from home as well. So um, I know that this is a privilege that we are able to stay home with our kids and work. Um, we feel incredibly grateful for this, um, but it was also one of the reasons why we decided to homeschool as well. Another one of our whys was what they're teaching in schools right now. Um, I actually grew up in the public school system. I went from K to 12 and um, I really didn't mind it that much. Some of the things that are being taught in public school um, here in Canada, it's just not lining up with what we believe um, as a family and our personal beliefs. Um, again, um, we just really weren't comfortable with um, teachers teaching things to our kids that we personally as parents would like to teach them um, at home and not knowing what our kids are being taught at school um, really didn't sit very well with us as we kind of wanted to know um, what kind of information they were taking in, especially at such a young age like five. And so I just found that there also wasn't a lot of transparency between the teachers and the parents. Um, I actually didn't even know who Brielle's teacher was. Um, I had met one of the teachers at an interview, but she actually ended up going to a different, completely different classroom, and I had never met the teacher before. 
and I'm sure all of the teachers are really great and wonderful um, but as a parent I just didn't feel comfortable her being with people that I had no idea who they were um, I had no idea I had not even met them before um, and I was just to trust her into the care of these people that I, I didn't know who they were and for me in my heart it just did not sit well with me um, I didn't feel at peace about it and um, that was definitely one of the reasons. Another one of our reasons as to why is I, I truly believe that um, young kids are um, able to learn a lot through play and al allowed to um, just discover the world around them and a lot of school for Brielle, who's in kindergarten, is basically just real life. Um, teaching her as the days go on um, and just basic things throughout our day like baking cookies can be school. Um, going outside for a nature walk can be school. Things like that. I do believe that kids are supposed to have a lot of play, especially when they are young, instead of just sitting down and being in a classroom all day. And as parents, um, we want to do what's best for our children and so that's kind of where we stood with our why and why we wanted to homeschool instead and um, it seems to be working out really well so far. Okay, I feel like this video is gonna be so much longer than I anticipated but that's okay. I'm hoping to get through a lot of these questions because um, they are really really good and I know that I had a ton of questions before starting homeschooling so um, I actually enrolled Brielle in to an online school so the school is actually not even um, their headquarters are not even actually located where we live we are in um, communication with a licensed teacher who actually sets us up with a learning plan and we kind of go through each subject and kind of brainstorm of what we are going to do for each subject you know, school doesn't always happen every single day. I like for it to, but because I have two younger boys that are very busy and take a lot of my time as well, um, it gives me a lot of flexibility to be able to still homeschool Brielle and give her, you know, the education she needs, but also take care of my two younger boys and kind of to do both of those things. So with our teacher, she actually makes sure that we are meeting the provincial educational requirements and she checks in and I actually send her work that Brielle's been doing or some things that we've been learning lately. We actually have two in-person meetings um, twice a year just to kind of go over everything that Brielle is learning and to make sure that she is on track and she's doing really well. So it's great to have that accountability and I can actually email my teacher that we're working with anytime about curriculum, anything about homeschooling, and she will give me um, a lot of great information and just things that she recommends. So it's great to have her as a resource that I can go to instead of just feeling super overwhelmed with doing everything. And homeschooling doesn't always mean that you're basically completely on your own. Um, homeschooling can look so different for so many people and you kind of make it to be what you want it to be um, and what works best for your family. It's really not um, as scary as a lot of people make it out to be. Um, basically you have the internet and the internet has so many great re free resources like YouTube. You can basically learn anything on YouTube which is amazing um, and you can do learning apps that we've been doing. Um, we love those and they're so so good. Um, it's not always just about sitting and doing a workbook even though we do do that sometimes. Um, it's a little bit more just kind of flexible to for you to make it what you want to make it to be. Okay, so one of the main questions that I actually got was how do you keep the younger two entertained while you school Brielle? So like I said earlier, schooling can be super flexible. It doesn't have to be one-on-one um, -on -one time sitting at a table do, working on a workbook together. But when I do decide to do something like that where I will teach her, you know, maybe how to count to 100 or we kind of work on things like that or working on addition and subtracting and kind of teaching her a lesson or something like that um, I will actually do it when both the boys are having a nap time so I have that one-on-one -on -one time with her where she's not getting distracted um, with whatever else is going on um, but also it is good to to teach her how to do something and for there to be other noise in the background for her to kind of be able to work through that as well so it's totally fine I try to uh, multitask as much as I can um, but like I said earlier um, we just kind of go with the flow and what we're able to accomplish within the day. That's kind of what we're um, able to accomplish at this season in my life. And so, um, yeah, it just kind of, we just kind of go with it. Do I follow a curriculum? Actually, I don't have any official curriculum right now. There actually isn't a lot of curriculum options for kindergarten just because it's not 
um, a, a super intense year. So again, I am totally learning this for the first time. I'm not an expert in this, but that is what I found as I tried to look for curriculum for kindergarten, but there just really wasn't a ton of options, even though there is if you're wanting to do that. Um, but I, I found that just kind of um, learning things as we go and kind of working through some workbooks and doing things that she's interested in and just learning about real life stuff um, really just kind of worked for us for this year as it's just a really, really busy season. So instead of doing curriculum, I actually bought a few great workbooks that have seemed to work really well for us. I also found a great website where you can print off your own worksheets and it's free. Um, I really love this one website. I'll put it down below for you guys. Um, such great resources for preschool and kindergarten. So you're kind of just starting them off with simple things. And again, not putting a lot of expectations on them is really great to kind of make it fun and exciting for them. And if they are really interested in reading, then kind of just roll with it. Um, that's kind of what we've been doing. Um, Brielle has been using the app called Reading Eggs. I've done a video actually specifically on Reading Eggs before. I can totally say that this app has taught Brielle how to read. Like she is reading full sentences. She's doing amazing. And she actually read a full paragraph the other day. It is so awesome. And I definitely think that by her using Reading Eggs, it has helped her so much learn how to read. It's so amazing. So things like that have been really, really helpful. And she's already doing so great. How much time a day do I spend homeschooling? So if I have a good chunk of time where it's just me, Brielle, um, usually it'll be about maybe an hour a day, maybe. And then the rest of the, and that's kind of doing worksheets and kind of teaching her something, things like that. But if anything, it's little spurts throughout the day. So say we'll say, we'll see a bird in the park and Brielle will be like, oh, I wonder what kind of bird that is. Then we'll look it up on my phone and we'll see what kind of bird that is um, and kind of a little bit about it. So that's actually school. So just being out in real life and doing that is great. One time I actually took her to the candy store and I gave her $5. So we kind of learned about money and how money works when she was able to buy some candy at the candy store. So, okay, one question that I get a lot of the time is how can you socialize your children if they're homeschooled? And my question in response to that is can you socialize your children if they're homeschooled? And the answer is yes, of course. It just takes a little bit more effort, right? So Brielle actually goes to a once a day, um, a week class. It's called a community connections class. So a lot of the kids in our area do the same online school as Brielle. And so they're able to able to enroll in this class that's uh, taught by registered teachers. And so she actually does um, PE, science and art, and it covers those subjects for the entire year, which is so great. And then she also gets the option to socialize and have friends. So in her class is the kindergarten and grade one class. And so there's about 20 students and they are able to form relationships through that. Also, we have um, friends that live close by to us that we are able to socialize on a weekly basis. So she has friends her age as well, um, just by me having relationships with another mom. Um, she has friends that way. Actually, we've actually put her in swimming lessons. So even extracurricular activities where she can meet other kids her age. So again, it's just about working maybe a little bit harder to socialize, but I find that if you're willing to put in the work to teach her how to socialize as well, um, she's gonna turn out just fine. Um, again, it just takes a little bit more effort on your part to make sure that she is fully socialized. Oh, another one thing um, adding to that is that um, she goes to Sunday school um, once a week as well, so she has time where Again, she's not just with mom and dad all the time, so she gets those opportunities to be in social situations without us, which I think is really healthy as well. So again, like I said, this is not um, for everybody, and that's totally okay. Um, for me, I never thought that I would be a homeschooling mom. I never thought this for myself, um, but I can say now that it's working really, really well for us right now. Um, one great option that this online school that we're with um, is that once they get up to kind of grade five level, um, they teach online courses where they sit down in front of a computer and actually are taught a subject by a registered teacher. So I can definitely handle the little years. I find that that's not a big problem for me. But once you kind of get 
um, into the older grades, I find that that is where it's going to be a challenge for me. Um, I am not good at math. <laughs> I can do basic math, but you know, algebra and all that stuff is just not my cup of tea. And I just, I don't like it at all. But again, um, I want to make sure that Brielle is getting the best education for her. So if we are to continue with homeschooling, um, I definitely think that her being enrolled in some classes for a teacher to actually teach her those things would be amazing. So like I said, we're just doing this right now. And as far as I know, um, if she wanted to go to um, school um, when she's a little bit older, I really don't have a problem with that. Um, but once she's just little and right now, it's just working the best for us. So I think that basically answered all the questions. If you guys have more questions about homeschooling on what we're doing and anything like that, um, please put it in the comments down below. I am an open book and have no problem answering any of those. So thank you guys so much for watching this homeschooling video. I hope it kind of give you a little bit perspective on why we're doing it. And I kind of feel like um, we definitely made the right choice for our family. And thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.